What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you? What am I supposed to see when I'm for Toppy's Top 10. It is the 1st of June. Hopefully this is going to go up today. I'm going to try and edit it and get it ready for you anyway. If not, hopefully it's the 2nd of June when you're watching this. I'm sure you're familiar with favourites videos. These are just my top 10 favourites of May. Number one, I have Benefits Big Easy right here. I love, love, love this stuff. It's so fun and easy to use. The shade I have is number 5 Beige, which is actually the second to last darkest shade they have in the range. This is actually quite a dark shade on me, I'm not wearing it today because I'm not tan enough for this shade, but when I am tanned, it's amazing. I love it, it's flawless, it gives me a great complexion, it goes to a sort of powdery finish so you don't have to powder. It's very smoothing on the skin and the coverage is buildable. I generally apply quite a lot to my face to cover up all my blemishes and horribleness and then just blend it in with a big flat kabuki brush. Number two. This is the Body Shop Honey Mania Shower Gel and I actually received this at Christmas but I was only able to start using it now because I had to finish up all my previous shower gels and that took forever. I've actually not used this much, I've emptied out half of the contents into a pump bottle so it's easy to use in the shower. I tend to use two or three pumps depending on how dirty I'm feeling that day. <laughs> this has a honeysuckle sweet scent and it's really really nice. Soap free and it's got Wad Flower Community Fair Trade Honey from Ethiopia. Honey has really good properties, it's antibacterial and it's very moisturising as well, so always a good thing. Number three. After having my hair bleached, I have been dealing with major split ends and dryness. My stylist recommended this product to me as I was having it done and I have been loving it this month. It's the Shuamura Ultimate Ready Hair Mask. It's extreme restoration treatment for ultra damaged hair. I kind of use it after I shampoo, so instead of conditioner. I mainly apply it to the ends of my hair, but with any leftover I just apply it all over. Leave it on for at least 5 minutes while I'm in the shower so that the steam and the heat can work with this to penetrate the hair follicles. I think this is a miracle treatment if you have majorly damaged hair, like if you dye your hair or if your hair is just really really dry. Try some Shurumura. I don't even know they did hair, but they do. Number 4. So this product I absolutely love. It's currently burning behind me, if you can see that. It's the Body Shop Pomegranate and Raspberry Home Fragrance Oil. I've got a little oil burner behind me there, and it's just like a little pot of water, and you pour like 10 drops of this oil in, it smells divine, and then you have the candle underneath, it burns, and all the oil scents diffuse, and it's amazing. It's so much better than scented candles. Trust me. This scent just reminds me of summer because it's very fruity and very sweet and very yummy. I've actually also dropped this into normal candles when they're burning. Just drop a little bit in the wax and it also diffuses around when it's burning. This oil still smells divine even when it's finished burning in the room. It doesn't stick on your clothes or anything so when you're going out and you're putting on something new it doesn't smell bad but it does linger in the room itself. It's just really yummy, it's one of those fragrances that you need to go and smell. I really like the home fragrance oil collection that Body Shop has. I urge you to go into a store and have a little sniff party. I need one right now because I've got this blocked up nose. Number five, we have Nip and Fab Body Slim Fix. Two in one body moisturiser and toning gel. Basically, use it daily on those areas such as like your inner thighs, your buttocks, and stomach. For me personally, these are the areas that collect the fat and cellulite and gross things like that. It's ideal for after a hot shower or a workout. Generally when you work out, you have a shower afterwards, then you can apply this. So it's after a workout and after a hot shower. It really helps to stimulate the cells for body contouring, which we like. It softens and smooths, it moisturises as well, and I love the fact that it's a gel, it's very cooling, so it's really, really good for the muscles. Number six. This is a product I have needed this month. It is the Melon and Goetz 
if I'm pronouncing that correctly. 10% sulfur paste. It's like a liquid with a powder at the bottom and you dip your cotton bud into the powder and then you apply to your blemishes and it dries them out. It just completely dries them out. When you apply it, you look like you have this big white spot. You kind of look like you have measles. I mean, I look like I have measles because I have a lot of blemishes that I have to get rid of every day. It's for use overnight and it doesn't stick to your pillows as long as you let it dry. Kind of sit there for like maybe 10 minutes, read a book, you know, do whatever you want to do, play on your phone, message your boyfriend, and then lie there and let it work. Number seven. Another remedy product that I have been loving because I've been addicted to face masks recently is the Ren Clear Calm 3 Clarity Restoring Mask. I love this because it's so gentle but it really works and you can feel it deep down into the skin. This one is so gentle that you can actually leave it on for 15 minutes and I always really like that because I like to relax and I always find that 5 minutes actually goes really quickly when you're using a face mask and then you've got to take it off and you're like, I don't feel much difference. 15 minute masks tend to be more pampering, I find. This is for blemish prone skin and it is made with clay which helps to draw out impurities but it also calms the skin and stops the redness so much. Number eight, we have this little product right here. This is the Max Select Cover Up Concealer and it lives in my handbag because I cannot live without this. I love it, it is basically my little saviour at the end of the working day. I take this with me and just apply it wherever I need to touch up. I've been a little bit sick recently so I've been blowing my nose so this region of my face has had the makeup literally wiped off because when you blow your nose you can't just blow without wiping your skin can you so all the makeup comes off but this reapplies like a dream it's a it's a liquid concealer but it's really 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 good number nine this is the Vita Liberata moment by moment self tan mousse and I love this stuff Actually this is a rapid tan so you only need to have it on between 1 and 3 hours and then you can shower it off and you're perfect, you're golden and it's awesome. Personally I like to put it on and leave it on overnight. I think the bronzer in it is gorgeous, it makes you look so dark but when you wash it off you do get a nice glow underneath. I don't think it's as dark as some of my other tans but I think it's a medium darkness and so it is good for every day. Because the maximum tannage that you can receive is from 3 hours, you don't have to go to sleep in it, which is awesome because you can put it on while you're getting ready for your night out, shower it off and then you're all good. Or you can put it on the night before that you want it, shower it off before you go to bed so you're not sticky, you're not worrying about having to wake up extra early to make sure you have time to shower it off. But because it is a mousse, it can be a little bit sticky on the body, but you're only having it on for three hours is probably the same after three hours as it is after eight hours but definitely an everyday color and finally number 10 this is the Tresemme instant refresh dry shampoo I have been using this a couple of times this month because when your hair gets a little bit greasy and you don't have time to wash it then you need something to refresh your hair I've actually got this in my hair today, that's why my hair is all in a ponytail. But I did, I used this this morning, it smells amazing. You can actually use it also for volume. I like to use it before I curl my hair to give it a little bit extra body. But it is very good for refreshing the greasiness from your hair. This product actually doesn't come out that white in my hair, especially in the roots of my hair, which are very dark, as you can see. Personally, this morning, I just sprayed it in, rubbed it in, and then shoved it up in a ponytail. Didn't even need to brush it out, but it does say in the instructions on the back that you should. Most of the time, if I know that my hair's going to be greasy in the morning and I don't have time to wash it that evening, I will spray this in before I go to bed, and it's fine. It doesn't leave any greasy marks on the pillows and it doesn't irritate the skin either. So that was my Toffee's Top 10 for the month of May 2014. I'm sorry I wasn't here for the last week. It was my birthday and then things happened. Thank you so much for watching on this beautiful day. I hope it's beautiful where you are because it has been gorgeous in sunny London this weekend. That's I've got my shades on. I will see you again very soon. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. 
and let me know in the comments below what your favourite products of this month are. Bye! I haven't talked much for a while. La 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 Any left rest... ah, clay. Some form of clay. What clay? The green one. Vogue. 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 But yes, I do actually have mid one. Ha <laughs> ha! So I'm not just using these to hide my eyes. I just wanted to be cool for a day. I know when I go into work, no one can smell it on me. <laughs> and I did check that today when I went to work. And I just struggled. <coughs> this is um, cucumber and kiwi water. A new detox thing I'm trying. Oh god, I just squished it. I've got my sunglasses on. I don't know if I look, do I look a bit stupid? Probably why I joined YouTube. I saw a load of beauty videos and I got obsessed and I saw that they were all mainly American girls so I wanted to do something for English